Hello to each and everyone. The date is Tuesday, the 12th of July, 2022. Shocking news from Japan. Last Friday, one of Asia's most well-known and widely respected leader was assassinated. Former Prime Minister Shinzo Abe was shot while delivering a public speech. Condolences to his family and the people of Japan. Now, let's continue with the regular news. This is Michael and I'm watching Yamato Blue Newscast. These are the stories for today. First story, knowing what a scarcity in Europe. Europe is not an arid continent, but water supplies are now a concern for almost half of the European population. Cyprus, Bulgaria, Belgium, Spain, Italy and Malta are currently using up 20% or more of their long-term supplies every year. As the demand for water continues at current usage level, water consumption by the public, industry and agriculture is estimated to increase by 16% by 2030, which will be almost impossible to supply with current available sources. Resulting from months of drought, scarce winter rains and overconsumption, southern European countries are experiencing extreme heat waves and longer droughts with Italy one of the hardest hit countries, declaring a state of emergency in five of its regions. According to a recent study, a rainfall deficit was observed to be emerging across almost all 11 European regions studied. Confirming a trend in Germany, where almost every spring since 2009 has been overly dry, now Italy and Portugal are calling on citizens to limit water use to the minimum possible. And most likely in the future, this will be a common trend in other countries as well. It seems no place on earth is exempted from this situation. Next story, do superfoods really exist? Most of the time, we hear the term superfoods, powerfoods, or even some top foods, and we are tempted to include in our diets right away. There's no scientifically based or regulated definition for superfood. As such, it seems the term is a little more than a marketing fad. Generally, a food is promoted to superfood status when it offers high levels of desirable nutrients, is linked to the prevention of a disease, or is believed to offer several simultaneous health benefits beyond its nutritional value. Indeed, there may be some foods with high levels of particular nutrients, like antioxidants, vitamins, or minerals, and even with extra health benefits, but be cautious not to focus much on them only, but instead focus on creating a super plate full of different healthy and flavorful foods. While choosing the best nutrients for diet, it is also important to remember that no single food is enough to provide all essential nutrients required for healthy living. Again, focus on a super plate, not just super foods. Last study for today. Europe plans high-speed rail so fast it could replace airlines. If given the chance, I am sure most travelers would avoid all the hassles and time going through airports, especially if your destination is within Europe, where most of the cities are considered short-haul destinations by air travel. Instead, imagine a network of modern super-fast and conformable system of trains hurtling between every major city in the European Union. Well, European rail industry leaders met in Lyon, France late last month to outline their ambitious new vision for an expansive ultra-modern high-speed railway system. The proposed railway would spider web between every major city in the EU, hopefully providing a sustainable and efficient alternative to the environment and friendly airline industry, covering the same distance in roughly the same time as short haul flights door to door. In contrast to other parts of the world, Europe already has thousands of kilometers of dedicated high speed railway, so the plan seems to be achievable. The plan aims to double high speed rail used by 2030 and triple current levels by 2050. We hope other regions on the planet do similar projects. And that's the end of today's edition. Thanks for watching MW Newscast. Please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel to always be on top events happening around the globe. This is Michael and I will see you in the next edition. Have a wonderful day.